Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. This bring you guys my post fight thoughts of the fight between Jared Anderson and Vladimir Tereshkin. This was the first fight that they showed us in the uh, pay-per-view card for Wilder Fury 3. I'm still hyped up from the fight. Man, if you haven't seen Wilder Fury, oh my god, you missed out on an all-time classic. <laughs> it was insane. But anyway, talking about this fight between Anderson and Tereshkin, fight ended in the second round with Anderson having his hands raised in the end when he swiped by TKO. Easy win for Anderson. Tereshkin pretty much quit in my opinion. I thought he was getting his ass whipped in the corner and he looked at the ref. He was like, F, stop the fight. Stop the fight, please. So referees, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but the referee stopped the fight uh, with the Vladimir Tereshkin still on his feet. And uh, Jared Anderson improves to 10-0, 10, 10 wins coming by a way of knockout or TKO. I guess Tereshkin felt the power, the power of the big baby. And he uh, decided, was like, yeah, this ain't worth it. So uh, Tereshkin decided to just stop the fight. Uh, no mas, no mas. So he uh, suffers his first loss in his pro career, Tereshkin. I mean, honestly, he, it didn't look like he prepared much for this fight. He looked kind of heavy on the belly. Um, but, yeah, he, I mean, no no, no surprise that he lost this fight. I mean, going into this fight, he hasn't fought in almost two years. Um, looking at fight footage of him, nothing really impressed me from what I've seen of him. Jared Anderson, in my opinion, is one of the future heavyweight champions from America. Um, if not future heavyweight champion, definitely a fu future heavyweight American uh, contender for the title in the future maybe not right now I don't think he's ready right now uh, give him a three four five more years definitely he'll be ready by then by the age of 25 26 I think he'll definitely be ready to uh, take on whoever the world champion will be at that time I mean, right now we have Wilder who, oh not Wilder Fury with the WBC and uh, the rest of the belts the rest of the recognized belts are with Uzik so who knows how the uh, heavyweight landscape will look three, four, five years from now. Uh, Anderson will definitely be in the mix by then, in my opinion. Depending on who he fights, when he fights them, you know, depending on how well top rank uh, promotes him uh, this year so far, 2021. He's fought three times, uh, winning all his fights by knockout or TKO. If uh, top rank can keep him busy for the next few years, uh, I'm sure um, you know, people will start talking about Mr. Jared Anderson. So anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think is next. I think Jared Anderson should just keep doing what he's doing. Um, you know, top rank, keep him busy. I think he's definitely ready for a 10-rounder. He has never fought uh, for a 10-rounder uh, before. Um, I mean, all his fights have ended by knockout or TKO, but um, I think he's ready for 10-round fights. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.